Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. This is part three of our Loading for Bear in 30-06 series. We are using the Barnes 200 grain TSX. Uh, this is a flat base bullet. H4350 in this video and CCI number 34 primer, which is what we've been using for pretty much the whole test. Before we start this video today, I wanna make a quick disclaimer. Any information you take from this video is at your own risk. It is not intended to be instructional whatsoever, purely for entertainment and so that I can show the guy that I'm loading this for exactly what I did to come up with his load. I'm not responsible for any of your loading decisions. So on the last video, and if you haven't watched part two, go ahead and go back and watch that. I'll put a card up, uh, up for you to go watch that. But at the end of that video, I promised that we would do a Saturday test and then I would come back to you at the beginning of this video with the results. Well, here they are. <clears throat> you can see we've got a little bit of a node there, but the trouble is that node is around 2360 feet per second, which is a lot lower than I'd like to go. The very, the very lowest I'd like to get to is that 2400 feet per second mark. I was surprised to see that the node with the H4350 was about 100 feet per second slower than the node with the 4064. But it is what it is. We could probably go higher with the powder charge. The trouble is we just don't have the bullets to play around with. What I would like to do is do a little bit more testing, maybe shoot some 10 shot groups, see what we can get as far as numbers go with H4350, maybe see if we can work up the velocity, but I've only got 17 bullets left in this box of 50 and only one more box of 50. And remember, we wanna get as many of these rounds to my friend that we're loading this test for as possible. So I got a hold of him and just asked him a, a few questions. So I had said at one point that we were probably gonna try out the 168 grain spear gold dot and I'm still planning to do that in the next video and I'll tell you why during that video but he wants all of his brass loaded with this Barnes TSX bullet and I understand that's what he paid for he bought these bullets and they're kind of expensive he's wanting uh, as many of those as possible and and that's what we're gonna do so we won't actually be getting him any of the spear gold dot load so with 17 of these left, there's not a whole lot of testing that I can do. He had 60 pieces of brass for me to load. I had to butcher one of them to use for the overall length testing. So there's 59 pieces of brass that are all going to go back to him loaded up with the Barnes TSX. That means that we have seven bullets to play around with for this test. We're going to use five of them and I'm going to set two of them aside. With those five bullets, I'm going to pretty much ignore that Satterley chart because it didn't get us near where we needed to go. I'm gonna just take that max charge of 51 grains because we showed it is absolutely safe, no problem with it at all. And it hit around that 2400, 2433, I think was the velocity on that one. We're just gonna see how that charge does. I'm gonna trickle up exactly 51 grains of H4350 for, all five of these loads and we're going to shoot a group at 100 yards and see how it does at the end of that test i'll know what we got to do whether we load up with the charge of 4064 that we loaded last time i believe it was 42 grains something like that uh, i could be wrong on that i'll have to go back and look but we'll either load all of his ammo with that 4064 load or we'll load it with this max charge 4350 load and get that to him. I have a feeling that this is going to group a little bit better just because it did at the 50 yard range, but who knows? So that's what we're gonna do for now. I'm gonna get these five loaded up exactly as we did in previous videos uh, with the CCI number 34 primer, 51 grains of H4350, and we're gonna use the exact same seating die setting that we did on all of the prior videos. I won't show you the loading for this part. We're just gonna get straight out to the 100 yard range. Well, folks, we are out at 100 yards shooting our final load. I have five shots to do this right. 
If I don't, I don't get any redos. I gotta pick a load and stick with it and load up 60 rounds. So, if none of my other shooting today adds up to anything, but this hits 2400 feet per second and an inch and a half or less, I am going to be thrilled. Definitely think that I can hold firm enough. So let's give it a go. We're on paper. That's good. Guess I better look at that brass. Same as before. All right, I'm gonna go have to take a look at it, but it looks all right to me. Let me take a look at the numbers here. All right, folks, standard deviation on that group was 17 with an extreme spread of like 48. Not what I want, but it is a heck of a lot better than the 4064 load, even though it's not quite as hot. Average velocity, about 2418. So that is what I'm gonna call the winner. Let's go get back Let's get back to the bench and measure this group and uh, we'll, we'll wrap it up. All right, folks, here we are back at the bench and it's maybe a little bit bigger than I thought it was at first, but it is still quite acceptable. The overall group for the five shots was 1.7 inches with four of them going into 1.15. I really do wish that I had the bullets to keep on testing this just a little bit further. I find myself wondering maybe if we bumped up the charge weight another couple steps if we could land on a good uh, spot with tight numbers and maybe a little better accuracy than this. But like I said we just don't have the bullets to keep on testing and this is going to be way plenty good enough. He'll probably want to adjust the scope down just a little bit but I'm going to let him do that once he gets the gun back and get it sighted in for him. Anyway, guys, that's all I have for you today. Thank you for watching. Uh, in the next video on 30-06, uh, I haven't quite decided which way we'll go yet. I may show you how I bulk load with precision, uh, loading up the rest of these 30-06 loads, or we might do the, the spear gold dot. I haven't quite decided yet. So anyway, I will see you guys on the next one. Thanks again for watching, and y'all have a good one.